I just wanted to take a quick second and talk about some thoughts I've been having with this 2305. So I bought this, I made a video about it right when I got it. Um, bought it like two, two and a half months ago. I got the tractor and this 48 inch um, Frontier brush hog, which is sweet because it is about, I think the tractor is about 44, 45 inches. So it is just wider than the track width on the tractor. So it has loader bracks on it for a 200 CX John Deere loader, which is what these would have come with. And I believe they ran that loader until the early uh, 1025Rs as well before they went to the 120s. Um, you can buy a 120 and put it on here. Um, you just need different brackets. So I want to put a loader on this or get a tractor about this size with a loader. Now, I have two, maybe three main trains of thought with a bunch of little variables in the mix. So if you own something equivalent to one of these and can help me out in this decision-making process, please, please pipe up in the comments and let me know. So just a quick rundown for those that might not be aware. The 1025R was the successor to these 2305s. I believe they're the same horsepower. It's a 24 horsepower Yanmar three-cylinder diesel. Um, and I believe they put out somewhere around 18 horsepower at the PTO. Um, the main difference, I think the belly pan and everything is the, or not the belly pan, but like the, the rear fenders, the footboards, all that is the same. Um, the front end is restyled and it's all composite now and the ropes is a folding unit which is nice because i have a shed i'd love to be able to put this in that i can't so my main conundrum is i'm in this cheap loaders are not cheap so i have the opportunity to probably double my money on this tractor probably get about $6,500 or so out of it as it sits just for the tractor. Um, in which case, I could replace it with a 1025R for roughly, I don't know, 10 to 15,000 bucks, depending on like what I'm looking for as far as condition and hours and stuff like that goes, and as well as what attachments people are selling with it. With that being said, having run this and now owning that 3038, I'm kind of considering going with a 2 Series. Now, don't um, confuse this being a 2 Series. It would be a 2025R, 2032R. I don't know if there's anything above a 32. They might be doing a 38. Um, but... That is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Um, the main difference is, especially if, if the last uh, two numbers are the same, it's the same engine, same horsepower. With the newer ones, anything I believe 2012 and newer, if it's over 25 horsepower, they're going to have emissions on them. Not a huge deal for me. I can fix that. Wink, wink. So... With that being said, I don't know if I even necessarily need more power. I have this 48-inch brush hog, and it does just fine with that. I mean, the stuff that I was hacking down, you saw, was higher than the hood of the tractor, and it was thick, thick, thick brush. Um, the main reason why I'd consider a 2 Series is it's just... A bigger tractor overall, larger rear tires. They ride better from everything that I've heard from people. And it's still compact enough to do a little chore stuff. Now, at the end of the day, I really don't need anything like this. 
I have a skid steer to do loader work of sorts. I have a newer um, garden tractor for cutting the grass. I have a 60 inch brush hog that I use with my H, but it's, it's old stuff. We're dealing with, you know, 60 year old equipment. It's kind of nice to own one thing that I can just get on without thinking about. So that's where I'm kind of at with this. Um, the other nice thing being hydrostatic is my fiance could use it for doing chores and cleaning the garden beds up and doing that type of stuff and not have to mess with a shuttle trans if I were to buy a larger tractor or, you know, a it's shit like one of the farm malls with just a straight gear transmission with no safeties to speak of. I don't know if I'd be comfortable with her doing that if I was that far away, no matter how competent she was. Shit happens. If I die, it is what it is. Um, but the, the need is something I'm trying to justify at this point. As of right this second, the minimum that I'm going to do is search out and pay the 3000 bucks and buy a loader for this tractor. At that point though, I'm going to want to put ag tires on it. I'm going to want to do a couple other things and at which point I'm pretty much going to be in it what it's worth. Um, just adding the loader will easily, you know, add to the value what I have into the loader. So I'm not as concerned about that. But if I were to sell this and sell that 3038, that gets me a good chunk of the way there to buying a like 2019 to 2021 two series that's low hour with potentially some other implements. I've seen guys listing them on pages privately for anywhere from like 20 to 23,000 bucks. And if you've seen what they're going for brand new lately, shit, I mean, I, th I think that's a deal, especially if you're going to keep it a long time. I'm not stuck on deer. I would look at Kubota machines. I would look at Coyote machines. Um, I don't know too much about the LSs or the New Hollands or any of those other companies, but I'd probably shy away from those just because of a lack of a dealer network. But quick recap, keep this and put a loader on it, buy a new 1025R or newer 1025R and pretty much deal with the same stuff or look into a 2 Series that is a slightly larger frame, probably would handle this brush hog a little bit better. Um, this brush hog on tight turns, you can actually feel the tractor skidding and it. I, I'm not saying that I have this set up 100% correctly either. I've messed with it a good amount. But keep it in the loader, 1025R, 2 Series. Maybe somebody can convince me to buy a 3 Series. I like that 3038. I don't know if I'd like a newer 3038 um, just because they are uh, DPF emissions machines. So I'm surprised I made it eight minutes into a video before somebody decided to let me know they were pissy about not getting food. So that's where I'm at. If anybody has any suggestions, please let me know in the comments and we'll close out the video with me peeking outside here and showing you this is what I was cutting and this here is what I did along with all the way down that 100 and call it it's 40 foot wide by about 160 foot of a pasture that we're not using. So let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you like this content, please like the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, lets you know when I post new content and we will see you all soon. Thanks.